Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our What Could Be in Poppy Playtime video series. Now before we start this video, apologies if my voice sounds a little bit raspy and a little bit off. I recently was sick and I lost my voice, but it's finally coming back to me, so I'm going to sound a little bit raspy, but I should be good. So apologies in advance. So in today's video, the character that we're looking into is Cat B. So we're going to look into their gameplay mechanics, their location, and all that good stuff as well. Also, I will just state that everything that I say and show in these videos is not definitive of what will happen in the actual game. So this isn't definitive of what Cat B will actually look like, and it's not actually what will happen in the future chapters. This is just pretty much a theoretical, like, what-if scenario, and it's a cool, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy it, so just keep that in mind. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps us out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. Also, it keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at the character of Cat B. So in our last video, we explored what could be with the character Bron the Dinosaur. Our protagonist would have roamed around the cafeteria and found themselves wandering further into the kitchen. This is where they met the creepy character, Bron. The dinosaur toy mascot that had an unstoppable appetite. Soon after, they discovered their terrifying true face. After evading Bron and rushing to the food processing area of the factory, they finally defeated the creepy toy and advanced further into the factory. Now continuing from where we left off, just as our character escaped, they happened to find themselves in another room similar to the power room. In this room would be a number of power-based puzzles that the player would need to complete. On the back wall of the room, there would be a grab pack switch behind a glass panel. Above the glass panel would be three red lights. After the player completes one of the puzzles, one of the lights would turn green. After they've completed all three puzzles, the glass would open up and the switch would be ready to activate. Once activated, the door to the theatre would open up. The player then makes their way back to the main lobby. So in this main lobby, we theorised which characters might match up with which door. So in Chapter 1, it's confirmed that Huggy is linked with the power room and the make-a-friend location of the factory. But as for the others, so far we've guessed that BoogieBot will be linked with the testing area, Poppy will be linked with the innovation area, Bron will be linked with the cafeteria, and lastly, Cat B being linked with the theatre. The player enters through the now unlocked theatre, unaware of the horrors that wait for them inside. As they enter through, they find themselves in an old cinema lobby. Throughout this lobby are old posters, statues, memorabilia, all put out on display. The posters displayed on the wall are from their old animated movies. Back in the day, Funtime Co. released a number of short animated films. Apart from all the vintage film posters, they could also see some very rare screen-used animation cells. As they wander further through the lobby, they come across a life-size mascot of what was presumed to be Cat B. They were put on display just like Huggy Wuggy was in the main lobby. And they appeared to be the same size as Bron the Dinosaur. But something seemed very wrong. Only half of the mascot was on display. But it appears to be hollowed out. Almost as if it was a hollow shell. It also seems that something has crawled out of this disturbing hollowed out mascot. As to what crawled out, our protagonist did not want to stick around to find out. As the player exits the lobby, they come across two doors. One leads to the theatre and the other leads to the projection room. Our protagonist decides to go check out the theatre first. As they enter through the doors, they see a large movie screen and a number of old theatre chairs all lined up in front of it. 
As they walk down the centre steps towards the screen, they see an illuminated exit sign above a door. Unfortunately, the door is locked. Near the door is a posted note that reads, Play our number one movie to unlock. Seeing that this was the only way to progress further into the factory, they had no choice but to find this film. The player would then head into the projection room. Inside is a large dusty old projector. There's also many dusty old shelves filled with old movies and books. And lastly, there was a ladder that led to a storage attic. That must be where all the film reels are stored. Next to the ladder is a piece of paper that is pinned to the wall. The paper displays all the box office hits from their movie titles. And sitting at number one on the list was Steamboat Huggy. So now the player knows exactly what film they're looking for. They climb the ladder and now find themselves in the dark storage attic. As they wander through and look around, they eventually find the film they're looking for. But unfortunately, it's locked away in a steel cage. The cage appears to have a padlock on it that requires a key. The key must be around here somewhere. The player would have to search all the dusty shelves and open up the empty film cans to see what was inside. After searching all the shelves and opening up the film cans, they would eventually come across the right one. They open it up and there lies the key. They notice through a crack in the wall that something is staring back at them. The strange figure shrieks as it scurries away. Whatever that thing was didn't seem friendly. The player unlocks the cage and retrieves the film. They head back down the ladder and load the film into the projector. They flick the switch and, success, the movie starts to play on the big screen. It's now time to exit the door at the end of the stage in the theatre room. As they enter the theatre room, they can see the film playing. They stare at it for a while until all of a sudden, a sharp metal object stabs through the screen. It tears open as a large monstrous character enters through the torn screen. Our protagonist is now face to face with the frightening true form of Cat B. Better known as Monster Cat B. Monster Cat B has four razor sharp feet and a large pointy metal stinger. They appear to be still made of plastic, but the other parts of their body look oddly real. Cat B also has the ability to fly, which offers up a new challenge altogether. The player has to make their way towards the exit door and evade Monster Cat B as well. They can run around the seats and try to dodge all the oncoming attacks but it would eventually become clear that they need to fight back if they're ever going to make it past this monstrous creature. The player would notice that Cat B's four legs look grabbable. They would need to use the grab pack and latch onto them and pull them off their body. They would have to be careful because if Cat B manages to successfully grab them, it would be game over. Every time the player would remove a leg, Cappy would let out another disturbing shriek. Once the player has removed all of their legs, they would come crashing down towards the ground. This would be the player's chance to finally finish them off. They would need to approach the fallen Cappy and grab both of their wings. Once they've done that, then they need to attract both of their hands and rip the clear shiny plastic wings off. Now, the battle would be finally over. Cat B would still be alive as they squirm on the floor, so the player would need to still watch out for their stinger. Once they've passed them, the player can now enter through the door and travel deeper into the next area of the factory.
Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. As always, comment down below what you thought of today's character, and also what other characters you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty, well into the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.